This is one of the best scalping strategies out there, okay? And I can tell you that because it literally made me $975 today and it actually made me about over 100% on the options, okay? I got in at 295, first exit was out at 7, that's over a 100% gain. And I only did it without any indicator, strictly using price action on the 5 minute chart, okay? And in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to trade it so you guys can make money trading it as well. And so you can end up making a thousand bucks a day, hundred percent, just like that. Okay. So what I want to do is break down this entire strategy for you in this video. Okay. And so what I've done is I'm going to kind of explain how the strategy works and also show you how I entered an exit for today. Okay. So what we want to do first is look at ES chart. Okay. And this was what I've done on the futures chart. Now you can trade it using options. You can do it futures. It works on all different types of stocks or equities, whatever it is you're trading. Okay. Now, I only use it on the five minute chart because the five minute tends to work really, really good for scalping these kinds of moves. Okay, so it's really important that you do want to look at other time frames, and I'm going to break that down for you, but you really want to make sure that the five minute is what you're using to trade based on. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down. Now, if I take a look at ES, and we're going to zoom out to a four hour chart for a long time, for a little bit. Okay, if I look at a four hour chart, I see two things. Okay. I see a supply zone all the way up here, just like that. I can get rid of this line. And I see a demand zone right here as well. Okay, and if I can send it, you can see it a little bit better. Now, it's not just trading supply and demand. Okay, supply and demand is my main strategy. Um, I'll leave an entire course on that, you know, completely free. Link in the description, so you can watch that after. But supply and demand is the basis of this, but there's a really important part when it comes to supply and demand of how I trade it using the five-minute chart. Okay, so you make sure you stick in the end to kind of see exactly how all that ties in together. But first thing I do is I look at the four hour chart. I zoom in, I say, okay, where are my major zones on the four hour? All right, I have my supply zone up here and my demand zone down here, okay? Now, um, how do we know these are good zones? Well, you can see on this supply zone here, we had a massive, massive move lower. We we're able to break structure here. Um, so very valid supply zone. Same thing with the one up here, very, very solid demand zone, just straight up, no pullbacks really solid tight consolidation here. Okay, so we have really good supply zone, really good demand zone. Now, what I do is I go on the five minute. Now, I don't actually, I'm not just trading off of these zones. I'm more so using these zones as guides, okay? There's actually a lot of opportunities um, in today that I didn't even trade that I missed out on. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, kind of break that down. So, we have our zones drawn out, okay? Now, we zoom in on the five minute. We wanna go ahead and look at supply and demand zones on the five minute chart. Okay, that's essentially what we're going to trade. But there's one very specific key thing that it comes to trading these zones that you need to know that makes the strategy work. Okay, um, now the first thing that I kind of just already talked about is that you want to make sure you're going aligned with higher time frame. Okay, so look at higher time frame zones. Let me make this a bit shorter. Okay, you want to look at your higher time frame zones. You really want to, you know, first of all, not trade against it. Okay, not trade. Uh, against those zones, or in a sense, trade with the zones, right? Meaning if price is coming up into a four hour supply zone all the way up here, I don't wanna be looking to get long in a five minute demand zone if there is one coming up, okay? So for example, you can see here, really nice demand zone down here. Basically this entire you know, area is a demand zone. And we went right through it, okay? Simply because we are approaching a four hour supply. So you wanna keep that in mind, okay? Now, the second thing that's really important when it comes to actually trading these zones is the candlestick patterns, okay? So supply and demand is all about speed, right? We wanna look for very fast moves. But there's a certain candlestick pattern that helps us really identify what a fast move is, and it works extremely good when it comes to trading. And that is going to be the engulfing candlestick pattern, okay? So if you guys don't know, engulfing candlestick patterns is essentially just when let me go ahead and get rid of this. Um, essentially, when one candlestick here completely engulfs the body of the previous candlestick, okay? So you can see we have this candlestick here. The next candlestick, we just completely engulf. It's red. We completely go up, and we completely overshoot it in the next five minutes, okay? And that is going to be your best supply and demand zones. This is what I use in the five-minute char chart. It works extremely good for trading ES, specifically NQ as well. Both of those are really good for trading um, stocks as well, I know it works really good. Apple is really good. A lot of these different stocks, um, you know, the big name stocks, Google, Tesla, all of them work really good. 
Uh, but ES and NQ specifically are extremely perfect for this, okay? So let's take a look at some of the opportunities I could have traded here, all right? So aside from the trade I did today, there's a lot of opportunities that I missed out on, okay? So if we take a look, price comes down into this four hour demand zone, okay? Now, what we can do, the other thing is we can trade higher time frame zones using a lower time frame entry. So I can show you this trade higher time frame zones using lower time frame entry. And the entry doesn't necessarily have to be supply demand based, but it could be an engulfing candle paddles. Sorry, engulfing candlestick pattern based. Okay. So if we take a look at here, we come down on the five minute chart and right at 1045, we have a beautiful five minute engulfing right out of this demand zone. Okay. That right there is a beautiful entry. Okay. I can easily just get in right here, right after that candle forms, stop the lows. And this would end up a nice one and a half R trade, 1.6 R on this trade here. Okay. Very, very beautiful trade. Now, so that's the first thing you can do. Simply just look at the higher time frame zones, wait for a five minute engulfing after that zone forms, and then trade based off that. Now, the other thing you can do, and, and I honestly love this more the, the best, is simply just trading off these five minute zones. Okay. So if you see really good candlestick engulfing patterns, so I want you to go ahead and you can, you know, pause the screen right now, go ahead and see if you can identify any in this area here where they would have worked, where they wouldn't have worked, and we'll go ahead and see what would have happened, right? So we obviously have this one, right? So coming out of that four hour demand zone, another five minute zone forms here. We come into it, right? Beautiful entry here. Nice uh, little max risk, nice little target, nice two R trade. What do we also see? We see another one that forms right here. See how this beautiful engulfing pattern? We have a really nice move down into that demand. We come up, what do we do? We reject it. Let me zoom in a little bit, just like that. We end up going all the way to low right there. Another 2R opportunity right there, okay? We have another one right up here. See this beautiful five minute engulfing pattern? Just like this. What do we do? Come right up to the top of that, um, put the stop of the high. This one is so far close to a 3R trade. Okay, three different opportunities right there. I know you're thinking, Jordan, you're just pointing out the ones that are working, right? What about this one right here? Okay, or what about this one right here? So this one actually did end up working. Um, let me just go over this one real quick. This one, <laughs> this one works so good. Oh my God, another 2R trade. So we have like four trades in a row that are strictly 2R. Now this one didn't work, okay? Again, not 100% win rate, right? So yes, you would have taken a loss in this one. This would have been a good setup. You would have taken the loss, right? But you take your loss and then you have four other wins at a two R trade, right? So that's eight R and then minus the one R loss. You're at a seven R trade, seven R on the day. If you're risking a hundred bucks a trade, then you just made $700 on the day, risking only a hundred dollars per trade, right? If it's a thousand dollars risk, then you made seven grand. Simply trading off of these opportunities, right? It's incredible how, how crazy that this works. If you're simply just looking at supply and demand with a five minute engulfing chart on ES and NQ, it works extremely well, right? Not all the time. You would have lost money here, right? If you're, if you're careful with your exits, you would have, um, you maybe, you know, would have lost money here. You can see we even have another engulfing pattern right here. This one I probably wouldn't have traded just because it's not the greatest supply zone. Um, but even so, this one right here, right? would have been another 2R trade, another 2R opportunity, okay? So using these trades, you can get really good risk rewards scalping, simply just looking at a five minute chart. No other indicators, no moving averages, nothing else. Simply by using this, you can actually learn um, to just use the strategy and make a ton of money, okay? All you need to know is supply demand and engulfing candlestick patterns. And if you guys don't know supply demand, or you wanna learn more about my strategy and how I trade, I want you to click the first link in the description. Okay, I have a free training for you. Um, if you give me your email, that way I can send you uh, my supply demand course. Okay, so if you put that in, fill out the form, um, I'll send you my course for free. It goes over everything I learned about supply demand, how I've been trading it for the past two years as a full-time trader, and how I've been trading it. For, I've been trading it total for about five years now. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of really good knowledge in that. But again, simply looking at higher time frame zones. Okay, not trading against those. You know, you're trading with the higher time frame zone, so using lower time frame entries, five minute engulfing candlestick patterns, and then simply just looking at those five minute candlestick patterns and, and knowing where we are in the higher time frame, you can trade just simply off of those scalping, 
quick five, 10 point move, right? Not even 10 points. Like some of these scallops right here, you know, six points, five points, right? On a contract that's worth $50, um, six points, that's $300 per contract. Okay. If you're taking, you know, three contracts, a thousand bucks a trade. That's just on one of these trades. You take all these opportunities, right? You this would have been like four wins, one loss. Still in the day with eight R really, really good, you know, day today. That could have been the case. Now, you always want to have a set of rules in case, right? I only took one trade today. Um, then I was, you know, done for the day. I ended up making close to a thousand bucks. But obviously, if I stuck around and took a lot more of these trades, I could have made a lot more. Um, that's for a whole different video, though. You guys, you guys get that. Um, but yeah, simply using the five minute chart. I hope this video really broke this down for you, kind of gave you a good understanding of a really amazing strategy that you can use because I know it works. I've been trading it for a very long time. Um, and yeah, if you want to learn more about my strategy, like I said, check the first link in the description. Guys, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below other videos you want me to make. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.